just about ready to roll here. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Here's Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And we are underway. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missed. A dive. He's got it from his knees. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. But he looks so comfortable making that play, dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Seeger stands in now. That's in there. Strike one. One out, base is empty. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That one misses. Two and two. Line drive. The throw to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Josh Smith. And Boog, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score, man. I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. And it drops in. And now a two-out opportunity for Adolis Garcia. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Up and in, ball one. Garcia, 31 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Smith off of first with two away. Bueller look to first. Two outs. And another ball. down and in well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage 3 0 down Eight. two outs tying and winning runs on base and you can feel the tension here in the ballpark Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him looked in. That ends the frame. So one hit is all they get. On to the bottom of the first. No score. here at Dodger Stadium and on the hill in this one Jose Urania and a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game he's going to go out there compete 
Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks yeah. all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Righty delivers. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out number one. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Zingy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys, even during batting practice, when it doesn't matter, yeah. they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. A big swing and a miss. You know, you translate on base percentage. It's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is life. Here's a one-two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Jankowski snags it. Two down. Batting third. The third baseman. Freddie. Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's... Tavares makes the play, and that is that. Dodgers down in order. Scoreless after one. Here at Chavez Ravine, top of the second. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Bueller back to work. This one popped up. Bet settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Next up for Texas, Chase Dolander. Fought off foul. That one the other way. Makes the catch for the second out. It includes a player with a big season last year. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Now at the plate, Jonah Heim. And there's the strike. through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Tosses to first. Rangers go down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
back here in L.A. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a foul ball left side. The wide to kick the pitch. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley is pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Zips it across. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And next for L.A., Andy Pajes. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day. It's going to be a tough one for the offense. But misjudges this one, and it falls. And these fans are into it. That misses the zone. Now one and two. It's a good take. Started after the 1 2 pitch. Appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Bounce to the right side. Gets it to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. That is good. The second baseman. Miguel Rojas at the plate. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. A little bit low. Righty to the plate. On the ground, right side. Over to low, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. third inning now Travis Jankowski the right hander back to work in for a strike one one that's a little bit low the pitch and he bunts, but that's a foul ball. And a 1-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. And another ball. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Here's Leody Tavares. That's through there for a strike. And downstairs. All tied up. The crowd really making some noise. Wouldn't chase that time. Back to right. Hernandez sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Now 
So the Rangers batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1 so far. In the air right field. Hernandez ranging after it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Home half of the third coming up. No score. As we go to the last of the third. Here's the veteran first baseman. Enrique Hernandez. The pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. The pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page that right now. The left fielder. Miguel. Miguel Vargas getting ready to hit. There's a strike. But misjudges this one and it falls. And this crowd making their presence felt. The and that misses off the outside edge. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Smith on the run sends it over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The catcher. Barnes. And up next for Los Angeles, Austin Barnes. Splits the plate. Strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one misses. And yeah, the count even one and one. Two outs. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's Corey Seager to hit. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Yeah. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Fouled off, he was late. Going two now. And that one moves his feet. Chase his swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Here's the 2 2. One chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the pitch. Called strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Now just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way. 
coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff pouring in on his hands. Next to hit, Josh Smith. First Ball pitch, and he out. just misses. One down, base is empty. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I got a ball, one strike. That one finds the zone. It's a ball in two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Popped up right side. He's got it. And there are two outs. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ball, Ball one. one low. Ball one, no strike. Just Ball missed. Well, oh, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Next oh, offering great. upstairs. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That's in there. That's strike one. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Nathaniel low up to hit. Line out his first time. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Left-hand batter waits. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the grab, and that's the third out. Rangers leave one, and we are still scoreless. Now into the ball game on defense, Derek Hill. He takes over and right. Here's Mookie to hit. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. In the air, out towards left center, Tavares. Pulls it in on the run. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Hayward can't hold up, and that's a strike. On one. two now as he swings through it. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. In the air, left side. That gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's in there. Going one. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. If you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Here comes a pitch. Center field. 
Tavares going after it. Brings it in. The back. The right here. Chaos And now Teoscar Hernandez. Going with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. One left for L.A., and we're still knotted at zero. Here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the top of the fifth, leading off Chase Dolander. Bueller back to work. One thing with Max Muncy, and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here. He hammers the fastball. Breaking ball inside. One and one. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Base hit into the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boone. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Go ahead, run on base. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim checks over to first, back safely. There's the strike. Oh, and one. Dolander on at first. Nobody out. Runner on the go. A swing and a soft liner. Takes it in for the out. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. Up next for the Rangers, Travis Jankowski. He's 0 for 1. No, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Foul ball there. Can't make the grab, and it drops. And the rally towel's in full effect. Front in, and it's in the air. Barnes makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So they've been held scoreless through five. And we still have no score. And the pitch. And the slider just misses. Next pitch is outside. Just missed. Miguel Rojas up next. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Rojas. Inside gets out of the way. Runners at the corners, one away, and the towels are waving. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Low. They apply the tag, and the runner moves up to second. The first baseman, number eight, DK Hernandez. You know, Boog, as an outfielder, you have to do whatever it takes to get to the ball in time to make the catch. Some slides aren't as challenging as others, but I wouldn't consider that play an easy one. Good work out there. First pitch misses. Count 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
dives and keeps it on the infield. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. First of all, that's a great diving stop to keep the ball on the infield. Then he's able to get up and get an out. He also keeps that runner from advancing any further. If that ball gets through, the complexion of this inning could be drastically different. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Vargas. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and deals. Bounced out to short. Smith. To first. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. So the Dodgers leave one. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Dodger Stadium all set for the top of the six digging in is the switch inning outfielder Leody Tavares and he deals that one outside ball one kicks and fires swing and a miss strike one it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And now it's one and two. Lifted in the air, out to left. He's under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. The batter number two, second base, Marcus Simeon. So the batting order turns over, and now it's going to be Marcus Simeon. And that one is inside ball one. The other way, pulls it down, and they're two away. Batting second, a really important hitter for them. Now it's Corey Seager, known for his late-inning heroics. He gets the intention to walk here, and now will force it any base with two gone. Substitution being made at first, and here's the pinch runner, Ezekiel Duran. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers, one for two. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Here comes the 0 1. So now a chance for Marcus Simeon to hit. Simeon, big power for an infielder. Looking to strike first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. center field and that's the third out make it six shutout innings for him out there now no score so coming into the game now on defense Ezekiel Duran he's the new third baseman and now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Barnes. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. 
If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. And there's one down. Back to the top of the intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. Substitution now at first base. Dodgers bring in a pinch runner, Phil Gom. And now it's Gavin Lux. Came into the game as a pinch. Double steal. Line to left. Base hit. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Dodgers walk it off. Now you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. one nothing, the final. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.